Two years ago, floods buried much of Pakistan, killing thousands and sweeping away the homes of millions. Entire families were left living on roads, in camps, desperate for help. The mother of one of those families was Amina May. The floods destroyed our homes, our land, everything. We had nothing left. And her troubles were just beginning. Her husband fell ill. Doctors said it was because of contaminated floodwaters. Within months, he was dead. At that point, I never thought I would be able to take care of my family and children. It sounds like the sort of story we hear all too often from Pakistan. Suffering, despair, with little help from anyone. But Amina May's story is different. Thanks to a place called Etihad, a village built for flood victims in Punjab province. And it gave Amina and her eight children a fresh start, thanks to solar power. These communities lost pretty much everything. Kazi Asmat Isa heads the Pakistan Poverty Alleviation Fund. The aid group used solar technology and funding from the private and government sectors to build 166 homes here. This gives permanence. This gives, uh, you know, they can build on their lives here. And what is so beautiful about this whole process is that they have come to develop their own vision, their own dream. Each of the 166 homes here is equipped with four solar panels that are placed on the roof. Here it is, this four panel set costs about $1,500, donated by a German and a Chinese company. This area is in southern Punjab province. If you've ever been here, you know this place never has a shortage of sun. The panels turn the sun's energy into 24 volts of power. The power is stored inside batteries that run simple electric appliances most people here have never owned before. No way. We didn't even know solar power existed. I love this system because there is no bill. We have non-stop power. Our prayers were answered. Solar power helped put Amina May back on her feet again. Not only is she raising eight kids on her own, she also runs her own weaving shop and sells the prayer mats she makes. We had no idea how solar power worked until we saw it. We didn't believe what they were telling us. Amina May and her solar power home pretty much shatter every negative stereotype here in Pakistan about women, especially single mothers. And they challenge anyone who says that solar energy is not the real answer when you're facing an energy crisis. But Issa says this project succeeded not just because of solar technology, but also because developers insisted on key principles for the community, like education for children, vocational training for adults, zero tolerance of crime and abuse. Perhaps most importantly, everybody here chipped in to build this village, but it's the women who own the homes. Single mothers in Pakistan don't usually own their own home. Amna Mai is proud to call this house her home, and she has a certificate of ownership to prove it. That is transformative. This is an area, hardcore feudal area, where women are treated notoriously badly. Here. And they never own homes. They never own homes. The village's 18 street lights run on solar energy. So does the irrigation system, the shopping district, the children's nursery. This is a country that's facing a severe energy crisis. What role can solar energy play when it comes to facing that crisis? I mean, huge. The potential is huge. I mean, everywhere we go, people are just now queuing up. It's beginning to be affordable. Two years after the 2010 floods, millions of Pakistanis still suffer, living without proper homes and the most basic needs. Developers here say the solution is the political will to combine innovations in technology and human development. I mean, it's just a wonderful feeling to be able to say, this is what development should be all about. For Amina and her children, an opportunity that seemed impossible just two years ago. Thank God we are happy here. We have everything we need. Reza Saya, CNN, Etihad Village, Pakistan.